Today I'm going to be putting a lift on my 2020 Cargo Mate trailer. I've got it parallel to the ground, not level, because my driveway is nowhere near close to level. Right now at parallel, we're sitting at right about 12 and a half inches on the frame. And if I bring it over to the wheel well, oop, got to open it up a little bit. We're sitting right at 30 inches. You can see that wheel opening between the wheel and the fender. So I'm gonna take this off, the wheels off, the axle down, well done new perches that I got from RMP Carriage. And we'll see what this thing looks like when we're done. And here's the finished product after the lift. You can tell it's snowing now. It's been a wonderful day to do this after near tragedy, which I will explain later, maybe. Let me give you some final measurements. We are now sitting at 17 and a half. Move this over. Again, I didn't have it opened up big enough. Strike two. And 35 inches at the wheel well now. You can definitely see how much of a bigger space we have between the wheel and the fender. So this again is sitting parallel on my driveway. So now we're looking at about 13 inches, whoops, 13 inches, there we go, to the bottom of my wastegate. All in all pretty easy to do, only took us about an hour, but I did have one of the jacks collapse on us and almost kill us. I'll show it in a time lapse, but everybody came out okay. Could have been a lot worse, but definitely gave you more clearance. Yeah, there's one of the tragedies. So I have to buy two new jacks for the back and a new tongue because the tongue bent, the tongue jack. So nothing like only having one trip under my belt with it. You can kind of see how it's sitting at an angle. Moral of the story. The right jack stands for the right job. Don't be stupid like me. All right, that's it. I think she's ready to go. Take care.